Hey, hey, and welcome to this Shuriken Skills session in the Work Smarter, Not Harder dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. In this movie, we're going to hone our selection tool skills in InDesign. And if you think what selection tool skills could you have, you definitely need to watch this short movie. So I've got the selection tool active, and just so you know, the keyboard accelerator to get the tool quickly is V. You can tap V on your keyboard and it picks it up. You can click on things to select them, no surprises there. You can also drag across things to select them as well. Very handy when you've got things close together like so. You can use the shift key to build bigger selections. So if I click on the black shape here, hold down shift and click the cyan box just there, then they are both in that selection. The shift key works as a toggle and it can remove things from a selection as well. If I drag across these three things, hold down shift and click on the cyan square again, you can see it removed it from the selection. Useful technique to have. When you're working with content, you can click on the content grabber, that's the circle that appears over any image frame or frame with content, and then you can work with the content just as you would if you'd have clicked for the direct selection tool. Clicking outside the frame turns that off. You can also resize a frame and its content. Let me show you how to resize a frame without adjusting the content. I'm just going to resize this frame outwards like so, and you can see the content finishes around about there. I'll just undo that to go back. If I hold down the Command key, and I'm also going to hold down the Shift key here, that would be Control and Shift on the PC to keep everything in proportion, you can then drag and you will change the container and the contents at the same time. If you're doing that, make sure that you keep an eye on the effective PPI inside of that frame there as well, so you don't lose the resolution. I'll just undo that. So here's the hidden ninja skills part that you may or may not know. The selection tool has some other superpowers. For example, if I select this black shape here, hold down the Alt or Option key and drag a copy, you probably already know that. However, if I start that operation, so I'm holding down the Alt key, dragging, I'm now continuing to drag, but releasing the Alt key, I'm then going to hit the right arrow once and twice, and you can see I'm adding more columns, and then my up arrow once and twice, to add more rows. If I want to remove a row, I can use the down arrow, and if I want to remove a column, I can use the left arrow. So it's a very quick way for me to build layouts. Really, really useful technique. And here's the final hidden part about the selection tool. If I start to resize all of this content, and I've paused just for a second there to make sure that I go into patient user mode so I can see the operation, you'll see it starts to distort all of that content. However, if I hold down the space bar, it starts to change the gaps in between. So there you are, that's your selection tool skills in InDesign covered. Make sure that you practice them, they'll become second nature and it will be faster for you to create layouts very, very quickly. Don't forget, if you want to learn more even faster, do check out my titles on lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning. And we're done for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, reach out to me via Twitter or Facebook. Please do spread the word and I'll see you next Monday for another Shuriken Skills session.